Okay, grade 12s, we're going to have a look at this circuit diagram problem together today. And as you can see here, we have a circuit with a resistor that's connected in series, and then we have resistors connected in parallel as well as a light bulb. We also know that the internal resistance of the battery in the diagram is 1 ohm, and then also the reading on voltmeter 1 changes from 12 volts to 10 volts the moment that the switch is closed. So when we see the switch closed, we see this change occur. The first question here is explain why the reading on voltmeter 1 decreases. The reason why the reading on voltmeter 1 decreases is because the moment that we close the switch, we know that there is also internal resistance inside the battery or the cells, and we see that electrical energy is converted to heat energy. That causes this loss. We also know that the change of 12 volts to 10 volts means that we have an internal resistance voltage here of 2 volt. The next question here is to calculate the current strength through the light bulb, which basically means that we have to go and calculate the reading on this ammeter. To calculate the reading on the ammeter, we see here that we have a couple of unknowns. The first one here is that we do not know the resistance of this light bulb Plus, we also don't know how many of the 10 volts are actually used up by the 3 ohm resistor. Remember that when we have a series resistor and we have parallel resistors, we see that the voltage gets split between these components. Let's have a look at what we have, however. We know that we have 10 volts going through this circuit in total. We can try and use this information further. Because we know our voltage in the internal system equals current times the internal resistance, we can use the internal resistance value of 1 ohm and replace it into our formula. And we also know that V internal is going to be the 12 minus the 10, which gives us 2 volt. When we go and calculate the current, then we see that the current in the system will be 2 ampere total. That means that we have 2 ampere going through this 3 ohm resistor. We have current and we have resistance, which means we can go and calculate the value for V2. It's going to be the current times the 3 ohm resistor, and the current here, 2 times 3, gives us 6 volts. This means that out of the possible 10 volts, 6 volts is going to be used over the 3 ohm resistor in series. That means that we have, are left with 10 volts minus 6 volts which equals 4 volts to go through our parallel connection. Remember that in a parallel circuit, whether we measure the voltage across this leg of the parallel branch or the bottom leg, both of these readings will be 4 volts. Since we have the resistance in our bottom parallel branch, we can go and calculate the amount of current that actually goes through this bottom branch. If we use Ohm's law, we know that current equals the voltage divided by the resistance, and here we know that the voltage is the 4 volts. We divide that by the resistance here. Now we have two resistors. Even though they are connected in a parallel branch, they are connected in series with one another, which means our total resistance here is going to be 3 plus 3, which means that this is going to give us a value of 4 over 6. This means we have 0, 0,67 ampere going through this bottom leg. So 0, 0,67 ampere. And remember, our total current was 2 ampere. So to calculate the current going through this top parallel branch, we have to say the current total, which is 2 ampere, must be equal to the current in the top branch, which is our unknown, I'll call it x, plus the 0, 0,67 ampere that's used in the bottom leg. We know that our total current is now 2 ampere. We subtract the 0, 0,67 by bringing it over to the left-hand side, and we see that x has a value now of 1,33 ampere. This means that 1,33 ampere is going to go through our light bulb, and that will be our ammeter reading. Remember that you can expect questions like this in the exam, and you're welcome to post a comment if you have a specific question from a question paper in mind that you need some help with. Welcome to ask, and I'll see if I can help you solve it.